Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Dark Side Detective. This is a Fumble in the Dark. This is the uh, sequel or the follow-up to the Dark Side Detective, which is a point-and-click adventure game. Um, in the previous game, uh, Dooley got uh, sent to the Dark Side, and this game we're gonna go follow find him. So I'm not going with intro, so let's just get let's just get right into it. Can't speak with. Case 1. Missing Presumed Dark Side. I gotta find Dooley. Indeed. I don't know where I'm gonna post this. I'm thinking about posting it in uh, October, but I might push it back to November. Previously on the Dark Side Detective. It's been one year since my par partner, Officer Dooley, went missing from the motel. Yeah, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't seen that uh, playthrough, go watch it. I have a link in the description, you guys. Spoilers. Um, Dooley, Dooley. I have an idea where he's ended up. Then Cthulhu back there. Oh no. I don't remember the voices I did. If I even did voices, I don't remember. So I've been chasing up on old leads. The portal here is still locked down. Dooley, where are you? I think this was in the kitchen of uh, his sister. And started chasing new leads too. Have you seen this man? Sorry, it's hard to see anything through all this smoke. Are you in there, Dooley? I've run out of official avenues to pursue, so I've... ...taken some time off to search on my own. So I am asking for your help. Maybe you've seen something that will help me find my friend? Maybe you have a strange glow in your backyard? Maybe there's an odd energy in your workplace? Or perhaps food has been going missing from your fridge. Anything at all, just reach out to me via the station. Please, I need your help, Twin Lakes. That's some heartfelt pleading. And now, TLTV, we have a squirrel who can count. Ugh, get off the stage. And now on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, a squirrel who's just nuts about numbers. So how was it? It went well. Eh, come on, let's go. Sorry to hear about Dooley. I'll edit some really sad music over that piece. Pull on the heartstrings. You'll have cranks crawling, calling you about all sorts of weird stuff in no time. That's very much a mixed blessing. I know you're lonely, but hands off, cowboy. This is a Mac, not a duster. Nah, I'm not saying you're dressed like a cowboy, I'm just calling you one. Like a clown, or fool, only nicer. Except for now that I've explained it, it's not so nice. Oh well. But yeah, keep those gunslinging hands to yourself. Again, not a cowboy. I know, cop. We couldn't decide if Morning Glory looked better with, with or without a bush. So do I just... Please. Poor wee guys pointing at his mouth and rubbing his belly. Is he miming the answer? I don't understand. What number is that? Two? What? What am I doing here? You're on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, Twin Lakes premiere, and only live morning talk show. This is the weirdest first date I've ever been on. Haha, <laughs> date? What? You brought your mathematical scroll to us to highlight this numerical skills on almost more or less live TV. I met this squirrel through the classified ads. I thought he was a person. Anyways. Uh, looks like it's the storage room. Okay. Equipment storage only. Please stop leaving stray animals in here. Okay. You can't fire me. I can and I have. If you were such a good psychic, you'd have known not to come into work today. Get out of here. I think this is the guy from the very first mission in the first game. 
His uh, daughter went missing, and then I found her. Detective, there you are. Hello? Wondering how I knew your name? That's not my name. I said job. I was just on the show because I am Madame LeMag, Twin Lakes finest psychic. Um, a skeptic, I see. Try this on for size. I know you're searching for somebody. Your partner, Peter Donnelly? His name is Patrick Dooley. That's what I said. And again, I was just on the show. Eh, fine. I saw your plea on the TV in my boss's office. But I am psychic and I can help. I know a place that lets people contact the other side. He's not dead. No, the other other side. Okay, what is this place? I can't tell you. I have to bring you. Let's go then. We can't... We can't? We can't. Not yet. My stuff is still locked up inside the storage room. Okay, let's get it and go. Eh, I left my key in the dressing room and I can't go in there. My replacement is here already. Embarrassing, right? Oh, tell you what. You get my stuff and I'll meet you out by your... Hold on, I'm getting a vision. I'm seeing a police car. Well, obviously, I'm a police op... Super, see you there. With my bag. Ciao. Cool. Is this a... It looks like a body, but it's not. An empty can of paint. Looks like they're freshening up this room. Okay. Lights on. I guess I can't enter. Knock, knock. Nobody's there. It's a list of the network shows. No news is good news. The news free news show. Where the weather, whether they discuss what weather is, but don't forecast it. And the economical no prize lotto. Great. It's empty. In case of fire, burn. Go away. No stars here. I downsized the staff into one room so I can have an ensuite. Okay. Star Star, do you think these are made of real stardust? You know, that's unlikely, right? Uh, I'm still taking it. Receive Star Star. That's good. Okay, go in the dressing room. Oh, I thought we were meeting outside. Huh? A moment ago when we spoke, you said, This is a different person, detective. Oh. Oh? Oh. Okay. Aren't they divine? My fans, the ball heads, they kill for me. I even had a vision of one doing so once. Can I get this person's name and address, please? What is it, Colt? They write to me for advice, my fans. I don't reply, of course. Never work for free. That crystal is mel- Melite? It helps people with a sense of fashion. Actually, you should take it. Uh, okay. That's me and my ball heads at last year's PsyCon. I signed so many balls that day. Weird. The centerpiece of my psychic's arsenal. Sure, sure people want their cards read, but they want to see a crystal, bar, crystal ball. Can't speak. Okay, so. Flowers from the station manager to welcome me to the new job. Welcome, new employee. It's the personal touch that I appreciate. Uh, I don't think there's captions. Um, yeah. So, like, I'm. I don't. I don't really know what you mean by captions, though, because most of the dialogue is on the screen. Sorry. <laughs> like, I I stream at certain times of day. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Give me one second. Anyways, uh, sorry. Oh look, a didgeridoo don't mind if I do. Um... Uh, makeup. What a colorful range of makeup. 
Sadly, I share this room with anyone going on TV, from presenters to clowns. Ugh, clowns. I know, they should treat a star like me with real respect. Okay. I can see all my pores, crofy, in stress, wrinkles, and perfect clarity. They're all sad lamps too, so I don't even feel bad seeing all that. Uh, okay, so. Hello, are you a fan? I can see not, no. I can see not, no ball on your head. Sorry, can't talk. Getting ready for my new show and don't have time for non-fans. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, the key. Duh. That must be the lockbox key that Meg mentioned. Hands off, that's for employees only. Okay, so... Nur. Who do I get to sign for this delivery? I'd rather give you my number than my signature, wink wink. That's no use, I need a... Oh wait, that was a flirt, wasn't it? It was. Oh, how novel. <laughs> okay. The plaque says this is the time. Okay. Is that all the same? The time is 10 minutes. 50 minutes from now. 25 minutes time. I think this is meant to be a list of people who work here, but it's just gibberish. Yes, the station manager doesn't like fans reaching out to him or the performers. He believes that they perform better when they're attention starved. Okay, so... Oh, you're new. Yeah, the last guy got possessed. Really worked it out for him though. The ghost has gotten him promoted to regional manager. I don't know why I slurred my words, sorry. This plan is called the Wilting Tony. <clears throat> what about this one? That's a drooping Willoughby tree. How do you know so much about plants? Private reasons. Sign here, please. Uh, sure. Thanks, enjoy your delivery. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello, kids. The Blood Wolves, what are you doing here? We saw you on the TV. We're here to do a help. How did it go? Well, it certainly went, I can say that much. Who's the lady in the car? You kidnapping her? For, for interrogation? Can I waterboard her? She's a psychic. She says she can help find Dooley. I just have to get some stuff for her. Can I still waterboard her? I love this kid. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, so, did I talk to the kids? I like what you've done with the car, but if you wanted it bashed up professionally, you only had to ask. Skyline. Twin Lakes, the city that sleeps with one eye open. It's peaceful. Especially when it's far away and asleep. P is for police car because that's what's parked here. A few palm trees does not make this Sunset Boulevard. Mom and Dad sa said I'm... Sorry, Dad? You mean Dad? I prefer the consistency of Mom and Dad. They wanted to know if you have police clearance for minding kids, and also if you have insurance for minding kids, and also what quests you have done for minding kids. Do I need to ring them or something? No, they're over there because they didn't want to leave me unattended by them. Also, was it incompetent? Is it your please wink? W wink. Please wink. Can't speak. Sorry to drag you away from whatever fun teenager thing you were doing. It's mostly brooding these days, which upside is an easy hobby to bring anywhere. Yep. Um, anyways. Uh, psychic. Why is there a kid jumping on this car? Maybe I picked the wrong cop to help? Jumping is helping, lady. Stripped of all its glory, now it's just the moto. Okay. The number two news outlet in town. Impressive since it's the only outlet in town. Okay. 
So... Oh, there we go. It's a federal offense to open someone's mail. Just as well you don't work for the FBI then, right? There we go. Oh, these look just what... Just... Why can't I speak? Oh, these look just like what my fans wear. Why, I think you were fans yourselves if you weren't so old. I'm not oh, So very old. I'm younger than you. Sorry, I can't hear your ancient and broken old people voices. I'm surprised dust didn't shoot out as you spoke. Okay. So what do I do with these? I'm now very confused. I guess I can go now, or not. Hehe. <laughs> okay, I know I have to do something with this can, I just don't remember what. Oh, give it to the kids. Blood Wolves Assemble, we're right here. <clears throat> Good, okay. Who wants to earn their espionage badge? All of us, obviously. I need you to put these on your heads, go in there, and pretend to be a type of fan called a ball head to lure out their new psychic. Insist on seeing her. Say you want autographs or something. Just get her there and don't let her leave. You understand? Probably. There we go. We're here to see the queen or something. She cures bald heads. No guys, we're ball heads. Mystic Mystique's fans. Can we see her please? We want her to sign our stupid heads. 100% no. Not gonna happen. My fans. I adore my fans. Eh. There we go. Like it just clicked in my head. I was like, oh. Bet she didn't see that coming. What do these kids say? I'm a ball head, yes siree. Give me some of those sweet, vague future predictions. I'm here for whatever this Nostra dumbass has to say. I see you got your teenage sarcasm badge. Thanks, it was hard work, but it was totally worth it. I'm King Ballhead. Bring the Mind Witch before me. Off with her head. My fans, my adoring fans, what a lovely surprise. How do we surprise a psychic, eh? I mean, what a lovely surprise for you that I can make the time to see you, which was easy to do as I knew it was happening. What's the mostest boxes you've delivered in one day, and also how many boxes can you carry at once, and also what size boxes are we talking about in my previous question? Help? Uh, you're awfully close little guy. The closer we are, the less distance my questions have to travel, the more I can ask. That's guaranteed science. I should leave. Mm. Please go away. I do not have a lot of mojo. And you are overshadowing the little I put into play here. Okay. Have my bag ready to go? Not yet. Bag. There's a bag? I'm so confused now. Oh, wait. Can I get past? This is Marv. This is it, Marv. Your chance to get that perfect shot. I just need to get in the shot that shows those Hollywood big shots that you're the man to call for any squirrel related blockbusters. Now's your chance to be a big shot. Be a be a be a be a be a big shot. Uptown squirrel, gone squirrel, the squirrel with the dragon tattoo, mean squirrels. I would go on, but I'm talking to myself and I should be focusing on the shot. Uh, I'll just give him a moment to wrap things up here. 
Damn it, Squirrel, do your thing. How am I meant to get that golden shot if you won't do your thing? I guess if I want into the storage room, I'm going to have to help that squirrel. Is this what a normal day is like for you? Pretty much. Okay. I actually took a geology course instead of a geomancy last se semester. So... Hmm... Oh. Devin dropped his snack. There we go. You can't go on stage. You had your 15 minutes of fame. I need to find a way to get these nuts to the squirrel. Did we do? This nut fits perfectly. I might not be able to play this thing, but I sure can use it as an oversized blowgun. There we go. Here goes nothing. I hate you. <gasps> Squeak. Reluctantly eats nut. So, what's 8 minus 3? 21? You stupid. Correct. Did you get that, Marv? Got it. About time. That's for us today, then, folks. This has been Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, getting you up to start your day. And we're wrapped. Let's clear the stage. There we go. Okay. It says Lameg stuff. Hands off. The boss is locked. Okay, let's check everything before I use the key. The label says, for smuggling interview victims. Okay. For transporting mediums and other mystics. What, what is this closet? This looks like an older model of the one out in the studio. The label says solvable in 20 or so minutes. Obituaries. Death notices for the magically inclined. Okay, let's use this now. Right, what's in here then? Hmm, looks like a bag. I guess this, th th I guess this is what she wants. Yes. Okay. So, now I have the bag. Here you go. Okay, super. Now let's get out of here quickly. Eh. Vroom vroom. background actually hurts my eyes a little bit. Okay, so where are we going? Look, I know you think that all this supernatural kind of stuff is nonsense. Mm. And some of it, some of it is, some of the, some of its presentation, showmanship. But Twin Lakes is special. I know you won't believe me, but there's other stuff going on here. <sighs> anyway, there's a place some of us know that lets it that lets us harness the, the this pop. Why can I not speak? That lets us harness this power to talk to people on the other side. I'm so sorry, slowing my words. In this place, it can help me get Dooley back. All I can do is help you find him. You have to bring him back by yourself. I think I'm slowing my words because of the moving background, but that's not really an excuse for everything else. I can do that. I just need to know where he is first. This is it, the switchboard. Hmm, I didn't have as many demolition in progress signs last time I was here. That doesn't bode well. The office is locked. There's a note from the city saying that due to advancements in technology, people will no longer need to speak to one another. You shouldn't be here. Three of you are not a hard hat in sight. What were... What would you do if a girder fell on your head right now? D you sue the city, that's what. Do you think Twin Lakes can afford a lawsuit? It can't even afford lawyers. You should see the clouds in the legal department. So, destroying this place? Oh yeah, coming down today. Crashing, crash banging to the earth in a terribly destructive fashion. Heh, <laughs> don't mind saying, it's gonna look pretty damn cool. Whoa, hands off, you're not authorized to touch this stuff. 
I'm gonna have to clear this place out if I want to examine this switchboard. Okay. This place doesn't look like it's gonna be standing for too much longer. Um, I don't think we need to worry about whether this power has been flipped off or not. That's why you're not authorized to be here, you walking safety hazard. That was the, uh, the ghost from the library, uh, case. I think it was, like, case two. I forget what her name was. And what was that? What were what? Were you talking to a ghost? Ha! Ghost, ha! Put one together, huh? Ghost, this guy, ha! <laughs> okay. The broadcasting antenna blinks out the signal in Morse code. As a science person, I can attest to the correctness of this technology. Okay, I wanted to check the toolbox. Oi, you can't have my tools. Need them for work. The receiving disc scoops out all the noise in the area and parses it into calls and secret messages. Okay. I feel a strange energy up here. Man at work. Just a single man. Why is this place being demolished? Obsolete technology, I guess. Or obsolete technology, I guess. Word came up from from up on high to tear it down, so we're tearing it down. Okay, so I can see a lot of wandering the city in your future, so I'm just gonna wait here and make sure they don't tear this place down until you're done. Okay. Hmm. Not much in here, just please tape. Ah, there we go. By the power invested in me, I declare this site off limits. I franchise in spookers to solve mysteries my way, but all this abuse of police power makes me think it'd go a whole lot easier if I just joined the force. There we go. Everybody out. I guess t I guess tis time for tea. I'll get the kettle on. Okay, same thing. This is the device, but they seem to have torn it apart. The wires are gone. They are needed to make the connection between this world and that. There should be a dark side phone book so we can know who to call. Without a transceiver, you've no way to send or receive messages. Without all the missing pieces, there's no way to reach your friend. Can you tell me where to find them? Ah, uh, look, you're pushing your luck, mate. Go do some detectivating, huh? Okay, let's go in here first. I see you already stripped some of the materials from here. We need to trace that stuff for the investigation. Do you have a record of where it's gone? Sure, I have a manifest of what's been taken and where we sent it to. This is where the mortar was kept. Am I gonna need that? If you need anything else, just ask. But like, just ask. Only ask. Don't expect a reply or anything. We're forbidden by city regulations to provide more than one unit of help. I'd offer you a seat, but we don't have enough. Gary has to sit on my lap on rainy days. Where did he go? A list of the health and safety violations you've committed since you got here. Wow. Pictures my kids drew for me. I stick them up around the place, but that would be a fire hazard, so I keep them in this neat pile. That seems even worse. This says the book was sent to an auction house for resale. The wires seem to have been scrapped. The transceiver's listing, listing has been scratched out. I wonder where it went. Sorry, employees only. Oh, is that where you hide your secret plans? What? No, we climb in there for private time. Oh. The old water steamer. I'd offer you a cup of coffee, but I made tea, which you also can't have. Sorry, city council has only budgeted for one mug per site. That tea is so strong, it has some stained boromine, boromian, I don't know, rings onto the table. That's nothing. Gary once stained a sephiroth onto some architectural plants and summoned an angel. Oh, sephiroth? That's a nice, nice little reference. I was going to say, like, that seems like sephiroth. Have you ever tried to get a safety hat onto an angel? They're all eyes and wings and spinning rings. Hat doesn't, hats don't come in those sizes. Okay. 
Oh, there he is. Was that Gail, the ghost from the library? Good to see you again, detective. What's the crime to you got the place all closed up for? Oh, uh, the death of tele telecommunications? See, we both got secrets to keep. Mm. Okay. So, where to begin the search? Okay. So, let's go to the junkyard first. Junkyard! Junkyard! It says, beware the... And then dogs and scratched out. And they were in... Animals? I've got a good feeling about this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's the, it's the goblins from uh, that one case. No, no, long coat back again. Two smelly in pockets. No, no, like. These guys, I thought they were locked away. No way, are these gremlins? Like, for real? As in, everything they touch breaks? That's them. Dooley and I locked them away safely in a magic urn in the station, though. Not sure how they got here. Uh, familiar looking box. This box is labeled Dorkside Trash. Hey, this is a box of my stuff. McKing must have thrown away our case files out when the division was closed down. That might explain how the gremlins came to be here. I was hired to get a ghost out of a truck once. Turned out it was just pigeons roosting in it. There were ghost pigeons, but still, just not that exciting. There's a family of raccoons in here and they do not seem happy to see us. I wonder what happened to that. I don't know. Pull, pull, buzz, buzz. No few fingers no more. So breaking every mini every machine you touch, I see. I should not be playing games this late at night. It's only 8.39, but I'm still very tired. I'll probably just do one case for now. Stay away, sticky finger. Grab no go in pants again. Would it help any... Would it help any if I said he was unconscious at the time? A half used can of solvent. Soon to be a fully used can. Okay. We had one of these when I was a kid. I should not have been driving so young. I remember when uh, my siblings crashed my mom's car. She was not happy. Good thing I wasn't in it because I got off with uh, no repercussions. I wonder if I can fetter a horse's ghost to, to this and get it running again. Bleep 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 me like noise machine bleep bleep. Stupid lady only give good food. Want want junk food. What good junkyard with no junk food. Okay. Look, there are the wires. Oh no, they're gonna get crushed. We need to stop this machine. Excuse me? Sorry, can't hear you over the pistons re-pressuring for my next crush. Damn it, we don't have much time. We need to get this machine offline. Fast. A broken bit of pillar. I don't recall what I was trying to do there. Hmm. It's locked. Employees only. Okay, let's go, uh... Let's go somewhere else and see if there's anything else I can do. Back to the TV station, I guess. Oh, is there anything new? Okay, maybe there's nothing new here. Unless I can get in here now. Okay, so. Let's go uh, to the auction house. Moldy sandwiches, happy in the hot dogs, rock hard porridge, get all your festering food needs met here. Twin Lakes finest purveyor of gone off food. Is that a thing? A thing people want? People at auction houses like old things, so why not old food? I serve gourmet food sourced locally from the bins of Twin Lakes finest restaurants at a fraction of the price. Here, try some stale pizza crust on the house. Uh, thanks? I think I can give those to the, uh, yeah, I can give those to the, uh, gremlin dudes. Okay, same thing. Oh, this is all new. Give me one sec. So now that you've sampled the wares, you want more, eh? Oh god, no. A, fr a fly salad? Congealed soup? Some fuzzy sushi, maybe? This conversation is doing more harm to my sanity than those eerie statues. Is it just me, or does looking at this make you feel like you're in another dimension? A 
The bubbles, they're so round. So many dimensions. Same thing, same thing. Okay. So, uh, how much for this Fabergé acorn? Let me see. Wow, the coloring, the fine detail, the... Wait a second. It's fake. It had the wrong number of scales painted on the copule. Or cupule, I don't know. Oh, I can fix that. Not a problem. I'll just add a few more. There are already too many. Yep, yep, of course. Remove a few. I hear you. But I know it's a fake now. I'm not buying a fake, even if it looks good. Ah, oh, lady, you're killing me here. Mmm. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Very fair. You can't buy from me. I gotcha. Now, my, uh, twin, identical in all ways, bar that he's got a fake, uh, a real mustache. Can you buy it from him? Please leave. Uh, what a load of rubbish. Into the trash with this. Okay. The world's first ever trophy, awarded to the art artist from trophy making. Cool. This painting looks like us, but in some green foggy place. I wouldn't stare at that for too long. Weird. Sawn from a stone in England. That explains the missing tip. This claims to be the horned skull of an imp. That looks like the book we need. It has the confusing scribbles of a dark side artifact. There's no way I can just take the thing with all this security. I guess I'll need to find something to swap with it. Even a few pages would be enough. The thing some people would try to sell us as if we're some kind of pawn shop. Some guy tried to sell me a homemade clay urn with strange, strange markings. Damn it, McKing. Another tried to give us a slimy computer saying it belonged to a lake monster. Damn it, Dooley. And another tried to sell us a bald cap with fungal beard saying it was from another dimension. Damn it, me. Good. If he's just gonna trash that, we might as well take it. Do you always take stuff in the trash? Oh yes, most of it's not even useful. I have a lot of broken light bulbs, chewed gum, and old receipts in here. Oh, I'm banned from all the good dry cleaners. So I got a fake acorn. I don't know how that's going to be useful to me. I never noticed it, noticed it before, but you look a bit like Caesar. Etu Raxa. This soul jar contains seven souls, one of which is very good and two are very bad. What about the other four? Apply to faith for possession. That sure is a painting. It sure is. Whatever it's meant to be, it sure looks like it. That's a clever way of saying it's like, oh, we don't know what to put in this painting, so we'll just comment that it looks nice. The auctioneer's podium. That's probably the only place I can get my actual hands on pages from the book. If we have something to replace them with, that's where we could do the switch. Okay. Hey guy, is this being auctioned today? No, that's part of the normal setup here, not for sale. That's a shame, you just lost out on seeing me underbid and getting outpriced almost immediately. This would be great to play games on. Just think how crisp our pixels would look on something this size. Not another one. Look, the auction isn't happening until the auctioneer is back. Back? From where? I don't know, I think he went off to one of the piers to get cookies or something equally rubbish and irresponsible. I think I just got my new location. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, back to the junkyard. To uh, give it to these gremlins. I don't think beating them here will help me get them off the crutch. Get the crusher offline. I can't speak. They should lure the gremlins out here. I really want pizza. That sounds good. Might eat pizza after this. I don't know. Now to figure out a way to grab those wires. Not so fast. That's cheating. Give those back. Now, uh I'm sick of these boys breaking up my machines. If you want these wires, you'll need to find me some stronger tech to power all this. Do you have my upgraded machinery? I do not. Okay, bye-bye. You want this? I don't know. Do those gremlins have their shots? The old one might have tetanus now, if not. Junior was playing with a joy chart. 
Joy Child trademark. But it seems the screen is broken. There's only sound coming from it now. I can't speak today. I'm sorry. It's safer if less exciting now. Okay. I don't know, man. I'm just trying everything. So... Hmm. That still looks functional. How do we save it? A broken bit of pillar. Guess if we want those wires, then we better get her what she wants. Why didn't the gremlins break this? It's a magnet from the Soviet. Very reliable tech over there. A warning light in case the giant metal frame and grinding noises didn't alert you enough. I love the humor in this game. It's broken now. I need to find some sturdy tech to repair this with so she'll release the wires. I don't know man, I'm just trying everything. I think what I need to do is I need to get into the uh, the thing at the TV station. But I don't know how to progress it. Not here to stop me from touching it now, are you Marv? What are you doing to that innocent camera? Nothing. We're halfway to a real interview show with this. Okay. So I don't think there's anything else. There's another camera in here? No thanks, I've had my fun. You sure? I am mostly sure. Okay. So... I'm confused now. I feel like I need to get into one of those buildings, but I just don't know how. Let's go back to the switchboard and uh, go in this toolbox. There's a bunch of tools and, oh, what's this? Sketchy address. A hastily written address down at one of the piers. I wonder what this connects with. I completely forgot to come up here. I wonder if the item scratched off this manifest can be found at this mysterious address. Only one way to find out. Let's mark it on the map. There we go. Pier 13. That's a giant bear. Let's see why somebody would have hidden would have a hidden address for this place. I'm so sorry. Probably to do with the secret black market that's here. The what now? Poor guy looks angry. Probably out of work thanks to, thanks to those robots. A painted metal hoop. Probably not entirely fit for purpose. Robot animal salesperson. What can I do you for, Norm Bearson? Need a robotic roomie, a mechanical mate, or a cybernetic hunting hound? We accept cash, card, check, meat, of course, berries, honey in all forms, and porridge, but only if the temperature is just right. Hello, Vince. Now, you know me, Vince. I'm the last regular human person to have an opinion or agenda. We just jumbo jet, Matt. Heck, where would I even get one of those things? At the perfectly normal human college I went to? No, no, no. That's not the kind of be, uh, human guy I am. But, animals should be left to roam freely, don't you think? Free to wander the streets for hungry bears to eat. Why, that's the natural order of things. Small, juicy animals. At the bottom, normal, two-legged, two-armed, furless people like us. In the middle, in the majestic bear. At the top, eating whatever what they want. Care they want. Carefree and with no fear of retribution. My brain is blanking. Yeah, I'm only going to get through one mission tonight. Because my brain is not working properly. But what about humans like you and me, you cry. Our tedious non bear life is empty save for my tasty little pal to keep me company. Hey, and that Vince is where my animal robots come in. Programmed with all the love and affection you could want but without the bad behavior, toilet manners, and inaccessibility to hungry hungry bears. It's a win-win-win situation, really. Now, with now this little monkey man would love a new home, don't you think? 
When it's kind of all and take over the planet, you'll be glad to have one of them on your side. A pair of lovebirds, all the joy of seeing two birds programmed to be in love, none of the pesky emotions or clean up. I'm sad now because I just got a memory of a bird. Uh, a love bird. So I'm sad now. Just one of the very cutting edge, edge pieces of tech we sell here. Welcome to Mark's IT for all your not too hard to fix IT jobs. Black market, speak easy, and safe house out back. What was that last bit? Oh, uh, nothing. Just my pleurisy acting up. Okay, same thing. What can I do you for? Need a robotic roomie, a mechanical mat, a mechanical mate, or a cybernetic hunting hound? We accept cash card check. Okay, same thing. Okay, TV. Want to buy? Want to buy a mostly working TV? Eh, no. Wait, wait. Hold up, now, detective. In what way is it only mostly working? Well, everything works except for the power switch. How much? Like the look of that? It's on special offer today. What's the offer? It's a you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours kind of thing. Go on. Well, I can see you're wearing a TLTV visitor's badge. And I saw you on the TV earlier, advertising something sad. Hmm. Anyway, I want some TV time like that for my business. So I recorded an advert. You use your media connections and get this aired in the un... You get this aired and the unspecified foreign tech is yours. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Cool, now whereabouts on the back do you want scratch? I need the lower back done, please. It's been annoying me for ages and my arms just can't reach. Mm. Okay, so... Excuse me, is this the way to the secret black market? Well, that depends whether or not you know the password or not. Password? Oh, you do know it. Welcome, friend. And you go and enjoy yourself. And remember, no cops. It's the law. Well, this is it, detective. The Twin Lakes Black Market. Hmm. What am I gonna wish for? Lords of Money? Eternal Youth? World Peas? That all sounds good, but I think I just want a giant trifle. Like, huge. Big enough to swim in. I hope this isn't a giant marshmallow man kind of moment. Get it? Get it? Ghostbusters? Get it? Make a wish? I wish I was the wish giver. That's a terrible life. Quite your fleshy word hole. Zoltar is about to dispense some powerful wisdom. Brown is not a good color for you. I love the human. Uh, the humor. I love the human. It's very funny. I'm like Bear, uh... Or Norm Bearson. Okay. Let's see. There was a leak in your apartment. I think this is different. This cookie contains no fortune. That's it. That's your misfortune. Yeah, there's a there's a secret here, but I'm not gonna pursue it because I already have the achievement for it. Don't touch that. For perfectly safe reasons that I won't that won't get me arrested. Wanna buy a gold plated cat? You took a monkey paw with you? Of course. How do you get rid of a curse if not by passing it on? Unrelated, can I interest you in this entirely curse-free, wish-granting charm, young lady? Mm, how bad a curse are we talking here? Roxa? I think that's Roxa? I don't know. Are those banned books? If I am selling them, they're legal. That's the law. Bun in the coven? What to expect when you're witch specting? Workplace or culture? Turn your cable into a summoning safe space. And the book of insympathy. I cannot speak. The book of unsympathetic, unsympathetic magic. You did this to yourself. Unsympathetic. There we go. Sorry. My autism is kicking in. These sound pretty suspect to me. Yeah, but you're a cop. You're paid to find things to be suspicious about. Yes, we are. And damn good at it. Okay, so transceiver. The transceiver. You bought it. What did you pay for it? Also, give it to me. No way, please don't have any power here. The black market is like neutral territory. 
That's definitely not true. I'm pretty sure it is. This is like neutral territory, but neutral in the sense that it's pro me and anti you. You? I thought we warded this place against people like you, by which I mean you, only you. Who sold you that transceiver, and what did they want for it? That's saying, what kind of black market occult dealer would I be if I ratted on every person buying curses, voodoo dolls, or flying cauldrons? My business would crumble if people thought there was no confidentiality. Was it a guy dressed as a builder? What's a builder? I need that transceiver. What's it worth? Nothing. I'm confiscating it. Please business. Haha, <laughs> you can't. Your division was closed down. You don't have the power to take these just because they look spooky anymore. I'll be sure to let you know if it goes above the speed limit, though. Where did you hear that? I move in certain circles, talk to certain people. I'm a connected man. Ah, uh, what do I need to do to get it, then? Hmm, oh, I know. Sinister Cackle. Oh, I mean... <laughs> My business is suffering because of another cookie factory down the road. Put them out of business and the thingy is yours. Think of Dooley Detective. I'll see what I can do. So what are misfortune cookies? Cookies for a more pessimistic punter. Best eaten with a glass of milk that's half empty. What happened to your shop? Burned down mysteriously after your visit but coincidentally before the cops you sent to search the place had arrived. The universe is pretty random, right? Mm, bye. Good riddance, more like. Or oh, good riddance, more like. Okay. Man with tiny hammer. OMG, I'm gonna be late, late, late. But do I care? I do not. I want those cookies and I want them bad. What are all these people queuing for? The sea had cookies by the look of it. Second hand hands that run like new are dedicated necrologists work the graveyard shift to meet your needs organically. Okay. What a sinister looking sign. This must be the shop wing wants closed down. Sea hag soggy biscuits. The flavor is in the wetness. Gross. Man in big coat. You're a big man. Good time, Charlie. Well, hey there, little fella. Are you looking for a good time? Eh. The name's Charlie. I like hanging out. Want to go skydiving? Invite your old pal, Charlie. Need a buddy for a dangerous climb? Then Charlie's your man. Want to race down the wrong side of a highway and stare death in the eyes? Charlie is in. So, want to do something? We can't. We can't. We're in the middle of something. Sorry. Oh man, nobody wants to hang with old Charlie. I'm so bored. I wish I had something fun to do while I wait for somebody to, wa to want to hang out with me. On this? Would this help with your boredom? Oh gosh, I'm mighty thankful, little fella, but I'm not sure what fun there is to be had in a broken console. Uh, okay. If we can move this bin, I can get into that vent. Let's do it. Ugh. It's too heavy for just the two of us. Okay, so I need to be able to fix this, uh... Oh, there was more dialogue. You could help us move this bin. Oh yeah, you're right. I could help with that. Thanks. So, I mean, I could help, but I won't. That's like four seconds fun for Charlie. I'm extreme life kind of guy. A bin is no challenge. And then you'll be gone, and Charlie will be here alone with nothing to do. So tell me this, what's Charlie gonna do for fun once the bin is pushed and you folks are gone? Eh? Don't leave me here twiddling my thumbs. Okay, so I need to go back to the TV station. I think they're gonna be gone? Yeah, they're gone. You again? I hope you didn't bring more screaming children with you to ruin my love life. Okay. Can you give this in tomorrow for me to get it on air? Sure thing, I'm just gonna put it in this inbox ba basket. 
Did you just drop my tape in the bin? No, that's my filing system. If you look closely, you'll see I filed my broken heart in there too, after those kids chased the delivery woman away. Okay... So, that was pointless. <gasps> it's the squirrel! Um, hello? That man! He will no pass on your vigil tape! But I will help you! Where is your handler gone? She was no my handler! She was my date, but now I have disposed of her. I sent her home with the cab fare. I am the gentle squirrel, no? I'm sorry that this is, this is so offensive. Why are you still here? Why do you want to help me? They humiliate me. They make me count like the performing monkey. I will steal back your vigil and meet you in the control room. Viva la resistance. Knock knock. Come in. So, uh, how are things, Marv? Things are adequate. Thanks for asking. You have, a uh, time to talk? Oh no, gotta edit down this morning's show. Station manager wants more fun squirrel and less sad policemen. Mm, sorry. Nice acorn collection. Thanks, I've been gathering them for a while now. They're my pride and joy. I keep them locked away in this very secure display case that I never open, save to add new acorns. What's all this? I've been trying to write a TV script about a cop who solves spooky crimes, but the main character is just so boring. Mm. Impressive speakers. I guess you need them to edit all this footage. They're actually just fancy yogurt cartons with some string. Sound is pretty good though. One more frame for that perfect edit. God, I cut too soon. Okay, he's got the tape. He's pointing at Marv. I guess we just need to distract him. The, pro the programming database. I just need to get the ad on there. Okay. I feel like I have to, uh... Like, make him file out. What do you think of this acorn? How many scales are painted on it? Uh, 14? Not interested, so... We'll fabricate acorns only have 13. No, not you. I'm going to remove the extra scales Pete drew on this. There we go. Hmm, 11, 12, 13. This is perfect! Where did you find it? I found it in an attic on a case. Uh, want it? Sure, I'll just unlock my cabinet to put it in right now. Aha, now is my time. <laughs> what the? Oh no, Marv, that squirrel. He robbed your acorn collection. I had no idea. Relax, detective. I recognized him the moment he turned up for filming today. What? You don't collect Fabergé egg acorns and not know who Merle the squirrel is. He's a massive... A master squirrel burglar. I'm getting tired. I don't know how long this case is. I've been going for like an hour. As soon as I saw him this morning, I knew he was here for the cursed acorn I had just picked up. I had to act fast. I rang my brother-in-law, a shady guy named Pete. I know him. His kid came over with some friends, and while they caused a scene, I slipped her the acorn to get it off sight. Damn it, Emily. They met up once she was safely away from here. Her dad made the acorn look fake and tried to sell it to the auction house, which I happened to know Merle was casing. So he'd know there was a fake on the scene. Precisely. Is like, he here? Yep, there he is. I was gonna say. So when you showed up, he took all the fake lock away acorns and ignored the real one that I had. Bingo! By the time he realizes what happened, it'll be too late. I'll have gotten this thing away to safety. Sorry again about that, Marv. 
It's okay, the things we do for friendship, eh? I once power morphed into a giant robot to get a mate out of a jam. Eh? After all that, he didn't even put the ad on air. I, uh, can just put that on for you. You do that for me? We went to school together. Of course I would. Aw, thanks. Also, it's public access. We kind of have to show any crap that, that's given to us. Okay. What are you editing anyway? The show is live, right? I'm cutting, I'm cutting a, have you seen the squirrel spot? It's time the world knew about Merle the squirrel. Okay, so. So I can't get in there still. Um, I can go back here. Oh, there I am on the TV. Quickly, take this so I can watch myself. How does this work? What even is it? Where can I find the instructions? No idea. It's old tech. Almost old enough to be in a museum or the likes. Now hush, I'm on TV. Okay, so I have uh, this now. I think I can give... Oh, wrong thing. I think I can give this to uh, the uh, lady. Maybe. I have something for you. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Come up to the door and show me. Have you got instructions? No. So you want me to guess how it's installed? No deal. Ah, uh, why? So... What am I missing? I don't know what I'm missing. Hmm. Okay. If Dooley was here, he'd want to know if there was anything edible in this. Nom nom nom. Nope. Nom nom. Okay, I'm confused. I'm confused. Let's go, um... I am Mark from, from my IT shop. Mark's IT shop. I am Mark. Do you have an IT problem? Computer not working? Toaster more of a ghoster? Eh. Has your photocopier kidnapped your family? I, Mark, of Mark's Me, IT shop can probably help to fix some of those things. So come on down. First 50 people get a free minor electrocution. Shock may not be minor. Mark may not fix your problem. Visiting Mark's shop may be a crime and get you put on a list. What did you think? Good? Oh yeah, top stuff. I almost want to break something just so you can fix it. Please do. Business has not been good. I think I need the bird eventually, but I just don't remember how I get it. Actually. Why, why would you offer this delicious looking honey stone to me? A normal person with no strange affinity towards honey. I'm not sure yet, but my gut says I should swap it with something you have. Like what? I don't know. Let me see. You an animal person? I have a cat. Well, a cat won't kill robotic birds. Take them home. Fill your apartment with the emotionless joy of fake pets. They're like fake plants, but even less rewarding. Thanks? Ah, uh, sweet and soft golden honey stone. Bringing back entirely bear-free memories of my youth. Yeah, I knew I needed the, the birds. I just didn't remember. Don't touch that. Okay. What is all this rubbish? Oh, bits and bobs. Magical stuff you wouldn't understand. 
You don't know, do you? Nope, not sure if it, if it even does anything, frankly. I buy it cheap and, and in bulk. And see, sell it at a massive markup here. Capitalism, the only legal form of robbery. I don't think I talked to him. Well, look who it is. Detective McNo partner. You know this is all illegal, right? That's why it's called the black market. God, you're such a dork for the law. You should marry the law. Marry it and have little legal baby babies. Can't speak. Sometimes I wish I didn't have autism. What are you even doing here? Best cookies in the city are down there to the right. They're so good there's always a queue for them. Unless you're a badass cop who confiscates nerds cookies. <laughs> And before you even think about asking, no, I'm not sharing. Get your own. You probably love cues. You're gonna marry the law, then have an affair with a cue. That's how boring you are. I have a partner. I just don't know where he is yet. But Roxa and me are gonna find him. Then you'll look pretty dumb. I don't know if somebody with hair like that can ever look dumb. She gets it. Not you too, Roxa. Eh. Are you telling people confidential police information? You getting shut down is about as confidential as how J JFK was really killed. It was a weather balloon. Wait, not that. It's about as secret as where the government kept Elvis. <sighs> Let me try again. It's about as classified as the reason for the all-seeing eye on the dollar bill. Damn it. Ignore all that. It's not secret. That's what I'm getting at. Especially now that I've told everyone. Hey, McQueen. Yeah? I hope you do find Dooley. Thanks. It feels less mean bullying two dorks, you know? Okay. The fortune cookies market is saturated. I'm making a niche for myself. So... Hmm. I need to find a way to fix this thing so I can get into there. Okay, same thing. Don't touch that, you'll turn the entire pier off course. I'm cons I'm confused at the moment. I need to find instructions for the thing. I'm confused. Like, I know you want this, but I don't know how to fix it. There has to be like one thing that I'm missing that's gonna put everything in motion. I just don't know what. Just a regular old bin now. I've robbed it of its treasures like Carter did the pyramids. I'm very confused at the moment. Oi! Auctioneer is only back there. No hammer, no enter. So it's the guy with the tiny hammer. Uh, that... Oh, allow me. I just need to get him out of the line. Okay, so... I'm confused. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Wait. It's the only outlet in town. That's good. I don't think I read that before. I didn't process it. Okay. I, I need to look it up because I'm stuck. There's no hint system.
Oh, I'm so stupid. It's like, Mark fixes things, and I have a broken thing. <sighs> Spent way too much time. No, not you. Can you fix this? Hmm, looks like the discombobulator has been shaken loose. I just have to reattach it like this. Here you go. Thanks, how much for the repair? It's free to an old timer like you. I'd like to do charity work for the elderly, so, you know, when it's my time to join the ranks, they vote me in. Vote you in? Yep, you hit retirement age and either they accept you or you your Logan run Logan's run. Anyway, put it put in a good word for me, okay? I'm not that you know what, thanks. There we go. See that one thing that's gonna put everything into motion. Here, take this. This should keep you entertained until something better comes along. Woo wee, this is a chipper wee fella. How can I repay you? You can help us move this bin. Consider it done in about four seconds when it's actually when it's actually done. Come on, Orange Ricky, sit in with Tiwi and Smash Boys so Papa can wipe out this row. I should be able to wiggle through. I'll stay I'll stay out here and keep watch. Well, that's a better excuse than Dooley usually gives. That's not an excuse. I'm being helpful. Suspicious. Emergency meeting. What the hell is going on here? I'm no pâtissier, but I don't think this is how cookies are normally made. These cages seem to be connected to that vat. I don't think these birds would pass for the real ones. I need to cover up the metal coating first. Otherwise, the hags will notice the swap before I can before it takes place. Okay. Hmm, the cookies. I should take some back to the folks in the forensic lab. I say, knowing we have no forensic lab. Boxes of ingredients conveniently, conveniently stacked up for an easy, easy escape route. Okay, so if I give it to this guy. Are these what you're looking for? Oh, sweet divine. How did you get these and what do you want for them? I had to uh, hang up some paintings. Can I use, can I borrow your tiny hammer? I shouldn't give this out, but I have a powerful need for cookies. Sure thing. Just don't go, pre go pretending to be an auctioneer or something. You'll find yourself in over your head. Okay. So... What am I missing? Oh. So yeah, like the one thing is. It drives me insane. Uh, I need to go to the TV station. I need to go in here. No, not you. A slap of this, a dash of that. We're gonna have these bots looking real in no time. There we go. It would take me like way too long to figure this out. I'd be walking around in circles. I don't have that type of time. Uh, so back to here. This case is going on for a while. Usually these cases only last for like 30 minutes at most. Okay, be free you little lovebirds. In you go robotic doubles. Where did they go? Well, the extracted chemicals certainly seem different. I don't want any more. How strange. Let's see. We fair maidens give ourselves to the ocean and the things that live there. We pledge that what is dark and deep and hidden guides us to rise the sea level so she who may never rise above the surface can reclaim the lands. To sell cookies for good deeds. Sea hags know that morality is subjective. All in the name of the Deep Mother is good and right and also just. Hmm. Did I say homeless man? Oh lord, it's like eating ambrosia. The nectar of the gods in my mouth. I'm so happy. 
Just a normal, normal hammerless man now. Nice. Oh, these are different kids. Uh, Miss Wampus. Yes, Melissa. Something ain't right with the Dutch oven. All the cookies, they've gone green. Oh no, oh no. Detective, I want to report a, I'm not sure, some kind of sabotage. Hey, hands, hands where I can see them, Johnny Long Pockets. They offer ocean sprayed mints, brine biscuits, caramel and sea salt cookies, saline snacks, and tsunami s'mores. Some of those sound actually really good. Those cookies have freed up if you're still looking. Hard pass. Oh, drat it all to heck. Okay. Our work. Our beautiful work. If I find whoever did this, I'm going to feed them to the very real and literal sharks. I bet the cop did it. What? Me? I would. I never. Not this me. That, mm, for sure. Look, he's having a guilt stroke. I'm heartbroken. I nursed each cookie like it was baked in my own oven at home. <laughs> One more step, bub, and I, I'm gonna play you like an accordion. Okay. Can I not go in here? Oh, I forgot. This guy. You? I thought we warded this place like you. I did the thing. I can see. Everyone is so miserable. That's my target audience, though, so sales are through the roof. Oh, cheer up. Your frown is ruining. It's ruining? Yes, yeah, just ruining. A general ruiner. I hate it. Smile or GTFO. Go try frowning elsewhere. For what it's worth, detective, what those kids were, that is... It's far worse than this. I don't know why I had a stroke there. Well, I've been having a stroke for like 90 minutes now. Okay, 80 minutes. I guess. Anyway, a deal is a deal. Here's your transceiver. Enjoy transceiving. Okay. I think I'm done here for now. But I need to find instructions to do that. Actually, I'm going to go... Uh... What's this? The auctioneer hammer. My auctioneer hammer. Yours? Mine. I have the coat, the hammer, the fast talking skills needed to trick you and pull off an auction despite no prior experience. I'm the guy. I can't say I'm entirely convinced, but there are old things to sell and rich people to appease. If we don't help them get rid of their money soon, they'll get money poisoning and start doing mad rich people things like hunting the poor, doing unwanted missionary work, or worse, become landlords. We're doing God's work. Okay. I'm now confused. Again. Where do I get the manual? Oh. Can I get back here now? Yes. Okay, there we go. Now I... Sh that one step. Somebody is trying to hawk this stuff online. The ad says some really good stuff here. Don't out yourself as an uncultured swine by asking for details or haggling though. Okay. Paper records from their sales. Nothing of use here. Okay. Um, Soviet manual, an installation manual for old Soviet tech. It says you only need two installation tools, a hammer and a sickle. I have to imagine that a screwdriver would be handy too. There we go. Boxes of pamphlets to place to places that don't exist. A crate of un a crate of used merchants. This looks like a box of pants from a house move that someone got mixed up with the rest of this. The life of this stuff, okay. Are the pants famous at least? Did they straddle a well-known budget maybe? I don't believe so, no. Aww. 
The security guard's unpublished novel is about a security guard who works in an auction house, but is also a globe-trotting treasure hunter and man of action. That sounds good, actually. Can I have one? Pages and pages of poetry about colanders and their uses outside of the kitchen. A loom. It has some beautiful notes carved into it. You should take it. What? Take it. When are we gonna get into a place like this again? Don't you want a souvenir? So on cold nights when you mend old socks, hey, you can look at this and think, I've seen how the other half lives. It's not the most inspiring call to commit a petty crime, but something tells me that this will come in useful later. So you get your wish. Yay! At least until I find a use for it. Then I'm sending it back here. Wait, you're not just dropping all that stuff on the ground after you use it? What? No, that's littering. I send it back to wherever it comes from. That's as nowhere as it is lame. Thanks? Yeah, make it lame. A never emptying jug. Wow, is, why is this in the back room and not on sale? Well, by the smell of it, whatever it never empties of is both useless and disgusting. Gross. A bus with eyes that follow you around the room. As if a bus with eyes wasn't weird enough. Great representation of an angel creeping up behind a man. Actually, that's really funny. Or carrying his books for him. Read the Bible, detective. Angels were always sneaking up on people to give them books. That actually made me laugh a little bit. Made me chuckle. Okay. So I'll come back here when I have a thing, but at least now I can get through here. How welcoming. I have the stuff you want, new technology, and instructions on how to install it. Okay, okay, in you come. Here you go. Super, here are your wires, comrade. What did you call me? Constable? Hmm. These have similar markings to the pages I need to replace. Mind if I take them? Why not? I have piles of that stuff. Gremlin art. Um... I fished that out of a whale's belly. How it got in there, I don't know. How I got in there is also a mystery to me. I built those out of discarded beds once I adopted the boys. What, you adopted the, uh, the gremlins? The fridge I got off the back of a fridge truck, which which was on the back of a freighter, which I had, which had sunk just off the west coast. Hands off, certified breakers only. I'm excited to get to tinkering with this new gear. Sorry for holding your wires, I'm just fed up with those little guys breaking my gear. How do they end up living with you? I was crushing some stuff, as it my won't. When I cracked open a clay urn, Everything stopped and out they climbed. They're harmless for the most part, useful to have in a junkyard, good for breaking stuff down, so I keep them around, all hunky-dorky, as long as I keep them from, my, from the machinery. Well, no more. Now they can wander freely, breaking whatever their little hearts desire. Okay. You can find anything you need there out there in the trashy wastelands you just gotta be willing to get your hands dirty and your blood infected okay i have what i need i'm outy i think anyways this is gonna be a really long episode um uh, let's go back to the switchboard actually no i can go to the uh, auction house because i have things These won't pass. They're too new looking. I need to age them up somehow. Okay. Maybe I have to like spill tea on it? Question mark? If we dunk this in here, that should brown and curl the pages so they look nice and old. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's kick off this sloppy robbery. What? Nothing. Auction time. Welcome, innies and outies. Today we have this fine antique occult book of sigils and whatever you, whatever you all think it is. 
Can I get an opening bid? What's a good opening bid? Five. Can I get five? Roxas, swap the pages while I carry this on. On it. Yeah, it's five. Five hundred. Five hundred. Five. F six. You can't go backwards. That's a rule, right? No, six hundred. Christ. Okay, okay. Put it. Pull it together, me. Right. I have six hundred. I want seven hundred. Can I get seven hundred? Any bids of seven hundred? I. I or eight. I. I'm done, detective. Sold. To the woman with the expressionless face for I. What? That's nonsense. That's not how this works. I'm not even sure how much I owe. You lot getting rowdy? Do I need to use my gun? Grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble? Grumble, grumble. grumble. Ah. Uh, I still don't know what I owe. It worked. Good job. Let's get out of here. What about all the other auctions you have to do today? I, I quit. Bye. Is she, does, she, she, does she say anything different? Nope. Okay. Okay, I'm done here. I think I have everything I need. You need to find a way to detangle them first. I think I might I might be able to use this loom to unravel the wires. Worst case, we can play a fancy tune. Looms are a weaving tool, not an instrument. Tell that to Bob and Threadbearer. We just gotta move the wires between the free nodes to untangle them so they're usable. Some parts of this adventure are less threatening than others. Okay. So... It's blocked by the wire on top. I need to unravel them in order. There we go. Oh wait, no. There we go. That's them unraveled. Now I know what to do next time my headphone wires get wrapped. Okay, there we go. Where do these go? Oh, stick them in anywhere. You can move them in the mini game. I mean, later. I got these. Super. Those symbols are like phone numbers. We'll have to work through them until we get through to your friend. And the transceiver. Here's the transceiver. I don't know what that does. Science. Pseudoscience. One of those. Doesn't work without it, though. That's everything. Time to try calling Dooley. Okay, now what do I do here? See those shapes? They're numbers, like phone numbers, so start dialing. What? That's it? What if he's not at one of the numbers I have? You're thinking too normal. He'll be at one of them. How can you be so sure? I peeked at the design document for this case, so uh, trust me. Okay, here it goes. Is that like a fourth wall break? I believe that's like a fourth wall break. Um... Okay, so I need to move that down. Um, I need to move you up. Move you across. Okay, I think that's it. So try calling. You darling. Excuse me, is there a man in a police uniform there? Yeah, of course. And an army man, biker, construction worker, cowboy, and a Native American. The village people? Really? I don't think this is the right number. This is always the right number, darling. Okay. So... Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. This goes all the way down. Try calling. What's all this then? Chief Ghoulie? 
The queen? What is it that has you calling me out of ours then? I think I have a lead on Dooley. A way to bring him back through... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whatever you're up to, if it's not through legitimate channels, then you had better not get me involved. Right, well, I guess I'll let you know how it goes. Best of luck then. Off you go. Okay. Like, it's really hard to uh, tell what I need to do. Um... Yeah, uh, there we go. I just needed to, uh... There we go. Who is this? Don't you know how hard it is for me to answer a phone? I might have the wrong number. Wrong number? That has me quivering with anger. Go. Hello? Uh, hi, I'm wondering if you can tell me what the correct glyph to solve this puzzle is. No, I didn't spend minutes designing this puzzle just so you can nag the solution out of me. Now this game is launched, so leave me alone. Nice. Um... What am I doing? Nobody seems to be picking up. Did I do this right? I don't know if I did that right. Hello? There we go. Dooley! D detective Is that you? Yes, Dooley, it's me. Where are you? I hear music. I'm not sure. Everything is different here. It's so cold. Oh, Dooley! Uh, it's my own fault. I should have worn a jacket. Tell me what you see, Dooley, and we'll get you home. Well, I can't see any water from here, so I guess I'm inland a bit. Sorry, detective. Geography here is a little... Meh. Dooley? I see a... And there's a... Me, Dooley, you're breaking up. Hey, can't hear that. That's pretty soon. What? And he's gone. Dooley, Dooley, he's gone, Detective. <sighs> I took down everything he said. Maybe we can use that to find him. Yeah, okay, yeah. I have a map of the city in my apartment that we can use. Let's go. I'm coming with. Now you want to come with? Oh well, yeah. Now it's getting interesting. Hmm. Man, this is a long case. This is only case one. Apartment. Well, this is it. This is the phone booth Dooley would call from when outside looking for a lift. My local laundrette. They take pride in poor service, which people seem to like, un ironically. I lost the top there. Gave them five stars. Excellent bad service. Affordable towers. Hey, I warned you that the occult doesn't pay well. I wish my building came with a fire escape. That's where the superintendent watches from to make sure you don't have any guests over. I expect this entourage will bite me in the ass at least review time, but if it saves Dooley, it's worth it. Okay. Okay, let's get to work. Yeah. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found a ritual that we... Can, that can get him back if I know where he is we can have the clues we just have to figure it out and gather the ritual components okay cool let's do this my map of clues from across the city 
Wow, I've never seen a real like crazy person board before. Pet the cat. Meow. Hey there, PD. It's not feeding time yet. PD? Like police department? That's the one. I sense you're lying. PD stands for placeholder dually. Mmm. Told you I was psychic. Meow. Cute. Oh, I have chalk in my pocket for the ritual. I said cock for a second. How did you manage to kill a fake plant? A, a bag of Dooley's old clothes that I grabbed from his gym locker. Gonna need these. I'm gonna need these for the ritual. Ignore that. It's all rubbish notes from failed attempts to find Dooley. And what looks like a drawing of the two of you? What? I'm a Dooletter. Various things I managed to take from the Dark Side Division before Chief Scully had it all sealed up. Is that a copy of Ripley's Castard or not? It is! It's where I found the ritual that will bring Dooley back. How does it work? Well, Dark Side portals are usually anchored. A portal from here will always go to the same place in the Dark Side. Usually, but not always. The here locations mirror there. But this ritual, it opens more of a vacuum than a portal. You point it to a place, give it a signature to lock onto, and it sucks them back. Great find! Now let's figure out where he is and cast it. Yeah, it's going to work, Detective. Thanks. What's that? My computer. I didn't know you can get them so big. It must be so fast. Eh. Okay, Detective, I'm ready to go. Let's chase those clues. There's a sad energy to this place. You're out there somewhere, buddy, and we're gonna find you. Okay. And go where? Until we use the, his clues to find his whereabouts, there's no point in leaving. Note from the call with Dooley. I might ab be able to use these. Okay, use that. Right, let's cross-reference what Dooley said with my map and see if we can locate him. This is all the info I have on the city. I just have to find some place that matches what I know about where Dooley was. We have three clues. If we cross-reference them with all this, we should find him. Yeah, slow and steady should do it. We'll scratch off everywhere he is and see what's left. Easy. So you can hear traffic. That's weird. Oh, Dave! It's Dave! Okay. So... Somebody was playing music nearby. So it's, like, it's not out here. Because there has to be traffic. So it, it has to be here. I don't think it would be at the library. The one place in the city with no Chinese citizens. Cool. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I don't think it's at the switchboard. Close it, please. I think it's the laundromat, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, it's the laundromat. That matches. I think we found him. He's outside this building. He's been he's been waiting outside for me to find him. Well, you found him. Now let's go get him back. Yeah, to the roof. 
This will do. We can perform the ritual here. Okay. We can just place these here. I have a lighter. Great. We put the bag here. Draw this here. That goes there. And voila! That's everything. Now to see what happens. You summon Cthulhu. A wind is picking up. There's a lot of psychic energy, and I'm not even making that up this time. I think it's working. Detective? <gasps> it worked. Does anyone have something to eat? I'm starving. It definitely worked. There we go. Long chapter. A long case. What was it like? Nobody has ever spent that long over there before. It was fine. Hard to get around. Terrible public transport. Trains are always on time, so I kept missing them. I'm just glad to be home. Thanks, detective. I knew you'd find a way. Thanks. Sorry it took so long. Aw, oh, sweet. Detective? Yeah? What's a prawn folder? Uh. Meanwhile... Dot dot dot. You didn't close the portal, you dunce. To be continued, dot dot dot. <laughs>